Happy Friday, everyone. Ooh, that's quite a fun little glare of lights I have there in the back. Um, I hope that's okay. So I had to change spots today because as many of you know, um, it is Grey Cup weekend and we're having a Grey Cup festival out here on our street. And uh, so we just got everything brought in. Oh dear, and I, you know, new place, these things happen. So I'm gonna set the iPad up there. Okay, hold on my little iPad friends. I'm so sorry, you guys are the ones who are on Facebook. And I'm just trying to get this set up so that you can see. Uh, because like I said, oh, maybe that'll work. Because um, like I said, thank you so much for joining everybody. And thank you so much for your anniversary wishes. Um, our anniversary just kind of snuck up on us. I was, so as many of you know, I used to own the Pale Blue Dot. And they put up a post saying that uh, they'd been open six years. And I know that I sold the Pale Blue Dot and I moved um, into our own boutique um, and reopened on their anniversary, which is the only way that I kept track of the fact that it's our anniversary. Um, let me know if you're on Instagram, if the glare from those lights is, is really bothering you and maybe I can relocate because I can see it on my phone. And if you are on Facebook, let me know if you can see enough of me to make this worthwhile. Otherwise, maybe I'll just try moving things around because like I said, the entire front of the store is just filled with things that are normally, uh, that we had out in the tent and then we have to take back out to the tent tomorrow. So by popular demand, um, hi, the, the lead lighter is here. Uh, he made some fabulous stained glass windows for me. Um, okay, so today looks okay to me, good, thank you. The sound is off. Oh, that's interesting. Can you check if, if uh, is anybody else also seeing that the sound is off? Let me know. Um, in the meantime, this is a sculptural tunic dress. I clearly have it on backwards because the scoop is a little bit lower the other way around. Uh, deep voice. Uh, sound is good for me. Okay, so what I did is I put together, we pulled as a team, a whole bunch of our favorite ponchos. And then at the 11th hour, I ran around the store and I thought, what would these ponchos look really good with? So what I'm trying on here is a sculptural tunic dress. And I believe this one is, yes. So this one is from our Avatar collection. The front of it has more pinks and some reds and some tans through there. And the back of it has more blue. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun? Um, let me know again if you're on Facebook, if you can't see me properly, and I'll try to do some adjusting. Um, so yeah, I thought, wouldn't it be fun to try a poncho with a sculptural tunic dress? So this is the poncho I chose. It's got some teal and black, and I was hoping that it would pick up the teal and the black in this sculptural tunic dress, because you can see it's very similar. So this is what I came up with. The way the poncho works is that there's one side that is more teal and one side that is more black and white. And I kind of feel like I'd like the teal side to the front. So that's how the layered looks together. Oh good, thank you Anne Marie for letting me know. I think when what I see on my screen, I've realized when I get home is not what you guys see on your screen when you're on Facebook. So I thought this was kind of cute together. I didn't know, like I wouldn't necessarily have paired these together, but I really liked how these two colors matched up there. But I think it's just a matter of figuring out the best way to do this. So this is how I know a lot of you wear the poncho, you wear it as a cape. Some of you just wear it down over one shoulder like that. Um, I feel like you could probably wear it asymmetrically over this, or you could do the, uh, the sandy hack, which I believe involves taking this and putting it up here to kind of square it off a little bit and then tying a knot in this. And then I think what Sandy did is she used a button to hold that in place. Heather, it's so nice to see you. We just sent you an email. Um, check it when you have a chance and let us know. We think we've maybe made a mistake and maybe you haven't figured it out yet. Um, so we sent it to you by email and um, we're excited to hear what you have to say. So there's another different way of wearing it. I feel like Sandy wore hers, 
I know that she did something on this side to square it off. But what did she do? Sandy, this is when I need you. And then this side she tied. But I feel like if I were gonna, like, between you and me, if I were going to wear a poncho with a sculptural tunic dress, I feel like I would want it to be, see how it's kind of squared off here? I feel like the squared off look doesn't really work with all of these gathers and parachute styling. So I think what I would do is I would put knots in all the corners, which kind of gives you that bit of a rounded look. And I feel like if, if you do that, it's really gonna change up the look overall and make it a little bit more roundy there. And then this I would tie using the, I'm pretty sure we're called, we call it the Ellen hack, where this side gets tied together to create more of a blousy effect. So, oh, and this poncho, by the way, is from the Wabi Sabi collection. So that's probably how I would style it there. So you've got some little points created by the knots. You're pulling in those blacks and the teals and then maybe accent it with some red jewelry. Maybe, is that what we would do? I don't know, we'll have to see. So there's the first poncho, everyone. Now I tried to, actually I had um, Mira helping me and I went for all of like the safe picks. I'm like, that will match no matter what. And the matchy matchy side of me was very happy. And Mira was like, yeah, that really matches. We should go for something else. So you're definitely gonna be able to tell the, the, the match sets or the sets that we put together that were inspired by, oh, hello, Poke Hamilton. I just saw your post. Hope you're enjoying the Grey Cup as much as we are. Um, so yeah, so you'll be able to tell which ones Mira picked because she's a lot more confident and outgoing with her colors. And I still come from an era of wouldn't it be nice if everything matches. So this next one you are gonna definitely know was a me pick uh, because it just matches so well, it's very sweet. So what I put on was this dress. This is one of our Orange Village bamboo dresses. And the one that I've got here is a large, extra large. And it's so soft. I know I like you guys hearing things. Listen to this fabric. Can you hear it? It's, it's got a lot of stretch to it. It's extraordinarily soft and it has pockets, which is nice. So let's see. So I'm wearing the large extra large and I feel like it is skimming over my tummy, which is nice. Um, I feel like the pockets aren't adding any extra bulk because they land closer to my hip than to my, to my, sorry, closer to my thigh than my hip. Um, so that seems to be working well. And then the very, very matchy, matchy way that I paired it was with this. And I guess this would kind of fit into our festive, not festive collection too. So this poncho, it kind of is festive. I hope you can, there you can see it there on Instagram now. And you can see it there on Facebook. It's um, reds and then a maroon that's almost brown, greens, blacks, and creams. It's very pretty. But I thought, yeah, it looks amazing paired with the orange. I think that's where you lose that festive feel and it ends up looking a lot more um, just, just kind of fun and maybe more autumn looking and not necessarily festive. But because it's got those greens and reds, you could easily pull the festive out of it. And if you wanted to amp it up a little bit, so I put the tie here. I know what I did is I put it so it was shorter side to the front and back um, and then put the tie here. I believe that when Ellen does it, what Ellen does is she puts the longer side to the front and back so it's more tunic length and then the arms get a little bit shorter and then she ties these guys together here and she ties them a little tighter and that actually looks so nice with this. And I believe the other thing that she does she ties a knot in the bottom of this dress like that so there's your look right there very bohemian um actually sandy reynolds was in the store the other day and 
if you're listening, Sandy, I loved how you layered your outfit. It was like pants and then a dress and then some silk and then a layer over top of the silk. So she wasn't really wearing a jacket. She just had a bunch of beautiful layers on top and I felt very inspired by her look. So I feel like this kind of mimics that a little bit. And if I added a knot right here, then I would get something that matches the drape of the side here. Let's give that a try. Yeah, super, super cute. And you can wear it with your Together We Can necklace, which matches everything and does so much good. There's lots of time to buy them. I think we have 50 left. We've ordered more. So thank you for all of your support. Um, I don't know if you guys have been following along with Krista from Shop One, but uh, there was an emergency with her artisans where one of the artisans' children was, were, was in the hospital. Um, and then they had to take him out of the hospital because they, ha they ran out of money to pay the bill for the hospital, but she had $500 that she had made selling the necklaces to us that was put into an artisan's fund and that full $500 went there and the boy was able to stay in the hospital. So already it has tangibly done some good. And Zonta is also collecting money. They get $10 per necklace and they're using it to create community farms um, here in Hamilton so that it'll be easier for people to feed their families, especially with the prices going crazy the way they are. So here you go. And if you didn't want to wear it with the Together We Can't necklace, then you could definitely amp it up with something like this. And I think this would be really pretty too. So this one is from the Suzy Blue collection, and it's just a really simple gold necklace. Actually, I bet you I could even layer the two of them together. Uh, we just placed a new Suzy Blue order. So if you go on our website, you're gonna find more Suzy Blue there. They just shipped it, so we should have it soon. Yeah, that looks so nice together. Right there. So there's outfit number two. Styling your poncho with a long dress worn as a very long tunic with leggings. These are the bamboo leggings from Terrera and a poncho. Stop and pause right here. Um, okay, let me show you what else we have. Hi, Michaela. Okay, so I do love this necklace. Okay, so this next one that I'm gonna show you, um, I actually put it in on purpose because I wanted to let you guys know that in this Green Friday sale that we're having, um, all of our existing in-store Bryn Walker is 30% off. So if you were kind of thinking you wanted some Bryn Walker, but you were like, I don't know, um, this is a good time to get it at 30% off. And let me just hang this all up. Um, additionally, if you want to get your Bryn Walker from, for next spring, like which, which starts coming out, they start shipping in January, and many of you have already placed orders for January. Um, if you miss the January delivery deadline, the next deadline is Monday, basically Monday. Um, so if you place an order by Monday, I will put the order in and we should have those pieces from the November 20th order by mid-February. And uh, for those of you who don't know, we do a, bam um, a linen and bamboo pre-order. And um, did I link it in this? I think it's linked in the bio. Uh, and I think I put, I'm going to do a post on it tomorrow, but you should be able to find it. It's the Bryn Walker pre-order. You'll see it in the menu and you can pre-order yourself for 20% off. And if you pay by Sezzle, you just pay it in installments. And then by the time it gets here, it's paid off. Okay, that was number two. Here's number three. So this is the Bryn Walker free any dress. And it's a small. I didn't check to see if I have a bigger size. So in this dress, I'm generally a medium. So let's see, let's see what happens. Okay, well, there you go. It's tight. I can see that it's tight right here. Um, but because it's so A-line, the only place it's tight on me is here across the bust. And I'm a 38C. So in this dress, I am definitely a medium. Even though like it fits, it just feels a little snug, but the rest of it is so A-line that it, it flows over me quite well. But I thought I would pair it with this poncho. So let's see. So this is another one that just arrived. It's so beautiful. I think you guys can see it there. It's a digital print on a cream background. And then what really makes it pop 
is this border with the blues. There you can see it. Sky blue, red, and green, and black and gold. So even though this part of it is so pretty and garden-like, as soon as you see that added to it, it's just got so much character. And I think I would wear this. I think I would probably wear this. What you're hearing outside is the festival is still going on and there is somebody selling some hot sauce and they have um, a bull fog, bullhorn, bullhorn, bullhorn? and they're talking about their hot sauce. Okay, there you go. You can wear it like that. Actually, why wouldn't I? I should put the tie on the other side so that you can still see all the fabric and the pattern in the fabric. Yeah, that's way better. So I would just maybe tie this side, and of course you can always just wear it open, but how sweet is that together? So the colors in this, there's like different shades of purple, violet, periwinkle, um, the background is a, almost like a vanilla cream. This is a tan in here. We have different shades of pink, like moving towards magenta. And then these are brighter pinks in here. Uh, but I really do feel like what makes it is this border, which is just so out of this world. But there's another set for you. Uh, this would look really cute with jeans. I think it's a great summer piece just because it's got you know the floral designs on it, but it's not overwhelming. And I wonder how it would look as a scarf. Let's see. Yeah, I could definitely wear it as a scarf too. I actually feel like I like that better out. There. I guess I do this. So that's another look with a poncho, and this is look number three. And the next one I think is absolutely stunning as well. So the next one is a free any dress, and what we did this time is we went with richer colors. So this color, I believe, I'm going to tell you what the name of it is. Um, I've definitely tagged it in the collection, but this one is... Doo -doo. This one is called Namisha. And I just want to make sure I haven't missed anybody's messages. Okay. It's kind of quiet here today. Shafali's not even working in the back. And Mira has been here because we were open until 8. And honestly, at 8.01, she's like, bye, mom! And she was gone. So um, it, it just does feel a, little, feels a little quieter than normal. So this dress here is also the free and dress. And this is in the Rambutan. And I love this color. It's kind of a deep red, but with slight orangey undertones. Um, what color would I call that? I don't even know what color I would call it. A very dark tomato? I don't know, it's called Rambutan. I think that's a fruit. Um, and this one here is a size extra large. So this is definitely going to be big on me here. so comfortable you can see how soft that linen is you can see like the texture in it just from hanging it just gets softer and softer and then this I paired with this so this is very much something I would be comfortable wearing I love how the reds in here pick up the reds in the dress and then you have those beautiful oranges but you've got the beige which makes it so easy to pair with neutrals. And then I really liked this blue here because it lets you pair it with your jeans. So for me, this would be a really versatile piece that you could add to your wardrobe. Because it's got the reds in it, I feel like everybody has the jewelry to kind of amp it up uh, when you're ready to without having to invest in anything. And more importantly, without having to think too hard. So you can do something like that with it. Um, and that is so super cute. So again, the Bryn Walker is 30% off right now. And if you need help with sizing, just let us know. We can give you a hand with that. Feels very quiet out there. <laughs> is Margo out there? I haven't seen Margo yet. Um, okay, this next one is another piece that's on sale as well. Um, just for... Uh, Green Friday going into Cyber Monday. So still for a little while, 
we have our jumpsuits, which are made out of bamboo, and the dresses that kind of coordinate with them that are also made out of bamboo are $39 right now. Do you have any cold weather dresses? We do not have any cold weather dresses. I was thinking about that today. I think what, um, what we usually do is we layer things. So we would take probably the Georgia tank, uh, the Georgia crew neck shirt with the long sleeves and then layer something like this over top of it um, and then put silks over it and leggings underneath it. Um, we don't. And part of the problem is it's really hard to find things that look good. It is a mellow Friday night. Um, so it's fine. It's hard for us to find pieces that work really well with the silk. And additionally, it's hard for us as a brand to carry winter clothing and summer clothing. Uh, so what we try to do is just work with layers. And we hope that that's something that you guys will work into your wardrobes as well as this whole idea of layering and tra transitional, transseasonal fabric so that you don't have to swap out your closet all the time. Um, but the short answer to your question, do we have any warm weather dresses? No, we do not. Um, nothing with long sleeves. Okay, so this one is made of bamboo and it's a dress because you can see right here it opens up it has pockets and these are only $39 right now so I'm gonna try this on for you here and I think this is another one of those ones that if you don't want the tie on the shoulders you can take the tie and put it behind your neck so let's just go see how that looks but honestly these are so comfortable my daughter Nisha probably has four of them I have three and I'm very tempted to get one more because I saw a great looking one today because the tie-dye ones are all slightly different. Okay, so this one is a dress and you can put it on like this and what I would do is, and I've shown some of you guys this with the, um, the maxi dresses, the silk ones, or with the silk jumpsuit, is you just tie a simple knot here and then you tie a simple knot here this one of those then once you've got that you take both of those strands and both of these strands here and tie them together behind your neck and that way you don't have the little bumps on your arms when you layer so there see if I can get that there go. so there's my dress and then I was thinking this would be really sweet with a poncho as well. And I would probably wear this with the leggings and the boots. And there's my winter look. Um, we also have the tights, the ones by, what are they called? Threads. These, which we think help you kind of take your wardrobe into the winter. Okay, so this dress, which is now $39 and I believe I linked it, I did link it. Um, so you could wear this with almost anything, but we thought it'd be really sweet with this poncho. And again, because you have that kind of, oh, actually I really like, I like how this comes out on the side like that. I wonder. Oh, that kind of looks a lot like a cape, but I don't hate it. Oh, that's kind of nice too. So you can figure out some way of layering this together. There's definitely something here with tying these two ends together. Hmm. What if I tied that together and then swung that around to the back? That's very cute like that. So there you've got a piece here that you could wear with your blacks in the winter. You could wear it with your whites in the summer. It's got the blue, so it's gonna match your denim. And then it's got this color here that you can use to pull out. If you wanna pair it with gold, um, it kind of adds that little hit of color there. You guys are so quiet today. It must be, it's, it's cold out here. 
I feel like that slows everybody down. It, uh, it hit zero today. And, and it is Grey Cup. How many of you guys are actually going to watch the Grey Cup? Hit that little heart if you're going to watch the Grey Cup. Me, personally, I will not be watching the Grey Cup. I just don't have the patience to watch sports. And it's probably because it doesn't make sense to me. That's on me. Oh, someone's watching it. Good. I'm so glad. Um, because, ooh, sports. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel. Um, I, I, I'm sure it's very interesting if you are into it. I'm really not into it. Uh, so I'm actually going to try this on with this jacket because I don't know how this hasn't sold to everybody yet. This is just such a great look. Just bamboo jacket over top of the dress. Really easy. There is not a lot of room for me to walk back and forth here. <laughs> Green day and tight pants. <laughs> That's true. It's definitely worth watching for that. Um, but otherwise... Like when it's I do watch the halftime show even for the Super Bowl. I will watch the halftime show, but I just have trouble sustaining interest in the rest. So I kind of like how I tied a little knot in there too. Again, when I'm wearing something with a parachute dress, it hits 16 in Ottawa, like warm 16. I was just in Ottawa this past week and it was freezing. And as soon as we got back into Toronto, I'm like, this is why I live here. Um, maybe with this. I know I do tend to go matchy matchy, but I feel like that works. There. To me, this is like a no brainer travel outfit because you've got this that'll match everything. You've got this that will match everything. Um, it's easier to layer up when you need something a little bit warmer, but you, if you don't, it's easy to kind of take, take parts off as well. That's crazy that it was 16. Love the black and cream. Well, you know what? I love the black and cream too. And even though it's not a poncho, uh, yeah, the tie-dye cardigans are so gorgeous. Now I have two of these and this one has been calling out to me, but I put together this outfit for a customer yesterday and I just thought it was so pretty that even though it's not a poncho, I wanted to show it to you guys today. So um, that's what we're gonna do next. So this is nice. We don't have a lot of the black ones left, but if you're just looking for a really basic piece, I feel like you can't go wrong. So I'm gonna put that there. And then this is what I put together for a customer yesterday and I just thought it was so adorable. So this is our last cream parachute dress in cotton. And I thought it looked so nice with, there, uh, with, this jacket here which has pockets by the way for those of you who are wondering gorgeous black and cream yeah I agree so this with leggings I would definitely keep the leggings and this and then I thought what really brought it together was this necklace here I just fell in love with this outfit actually I would probably untie this and loop it a bit more So how sweet is that? I really wish I could back up a little more. Um, but yeah, super cute and soft and fun. And like, even though this is like a summer dress, I feel like it works as a winter layer. As long as you put leggings underneath it and then you do something fun over top of it, which is kind of what, um, what Sandy did. When I was saying that Sandy looked so well put together and that's exactly what she did. It looked amazing on her. Put this guy back and yeah it's so weird you get used to doing things in one place and now that I'm here in the middle of the store I'm kind of like I don't have any room um, but I do so this year for our holiday window for those of you who have followed us for years you probably know that for our holiday window we have this dress form like we have our mannequins essentially and then we have a big wide like almost like a ballroom skirt made out of chicken wire and then we take different like cedar boughs and pine boughs and we stick them in the, so that she has like a skirt made out of greenery but this year we're going to take the remnants from our saris and we're going to try to stuff them in into the tiny little chicken wire holes 
and see if we can create a beautiful fabric skirt. So we'll take you on that journey with us when we get there. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I've been seeing a lot more things that people are doing with fabric remnants, which we do sell. Okay, so here's another jumpsuit one, uh, except it is a dress, not a jumpsuit. Mira put this one together. And again, I don't know if I would have been so bold, but I think she did a great job. So this one is, believe it or not, our navy blue color. And you can see that it's tie dyed in kind of autumn shades of like a rusts and pinks and roses when there's a little bit of green in there. And it looks like that on. Again, so comfortable. And what she did is she put it with this poncho, which I would not have done, but I can see why she did it and it's super cute. So this poncho has a lot of the same colors, but in much truer versions of the colors. If the jumpsuits fit, would it be safe bet that the, yes, I would say 100%. The jumpsuits and the, uh, the dresses in this, this style are cut identically. They are exactly 100% the same cut. The only difference is the jumpsuits have this end and this end sewn together from here to here <laughs> so that you end up with legs, whereas the dresses are just not sewn. So yes, they will definitely fit. Um, and really cute. Oh, I wonder if you could spin them around the way you spin around our maxi dresses. I'm gonna give that a try. Um, so this is what Mira put with it. I think it's really cute. Like I think it elevates the whole look because when you're wearing just a jumpsuit, it kind of looks like super, super casual. But as soon as you put this over it, it kind of looks very intentional um, that you were trying to kind of mix patterns and do something a little bit more unexpected. And I feel like it works. Maybe I can move this. Oh, that's gonna give me a bit more room. I'm much happier now. Maybe I can move this. There we go. Okay, so I feel like this works really well. I would not have thought to put them together, but I like it. What does this say over here? Can you tell us how you did the remnant wreath? Okay, fun fact, I did not do the remnant reef. Uh, one of our customers, Margot, who you probably know from these lives, um, she found it online somewhere and sent it to us and said, what do you think of that? And I'm like, we love it. In fact, that's already what we had in mind for our holiday window. Um, so I just used that picture and I said, wouldn't this be a cool way to use our remnants? But we've never tried it. So once we figure it out, when we do our holiday lady, I will be able to answer that for you. I'm guessing that all we're gonna do is take the fabric, um, let me find a remnant and I'll show you what I mean. Gonna take me a second, friends, but I'm still here. You can hear me walking. So here is So this is not a remnant, this is a silk scarf. Um, but I think that I can show you what, what, what I had in mind, even though I'm hoping somewhere someone has YouTubed how to do this properly. So what I was thinking is if I had a remnant like this, I would kind of fold it up this way. And then, so now I have those little pleats there. And then I would take that, poof it out that way. And then almost, so it becomes like a poof and then take the back of it and put it through the chicken wire like that. So that I would end up with a bunch of poofs like this with the back of it in the chicken wire. And so again, never done this before, but I'm also thinking if I used elastic to create that poof, I might be able to draw it through the chicken wire and then use the other half of the elastic to attach the next one? I don't know, it's gonna be a journey. If one of you has an idea, let me know. Um, I do think it's gonna be fun though. Um, okay, so what I was gonna do was I was gonna see if we can spin these dresses around the way we spin our dresses, the silk ones around. So let's see. Um, so that wreath, by the way, 
I am getting a little obsessed with all the cool things you can do with AI. As scary as the whole, oh yeah, I like that. As scary as the whole AI thing is, um, it's a kind of neat idea. So what I did is I got sent a picture of that wreath and then all I did was I ran it through this app on my phone called Photo Room and it separates the background from the foreground or from your actual, like your object. Um, and then it let you, you use AI and you say, what do you want to do with this foreground piece? And so I wrote, put it on a brick wall with Christmassy stuff below it. And then that's the picture it came up with. Um, and it looked beautiful. So and it even created its own shadow. Like I, I don't know where the world is going. I actually was thinking on the positive side, if you can do all of that kind of stuff with your phone, you really don't need to like drive out somewhere to do a photo shoot. You can just do that photo shoot virtually on your phone. Yeah, so guys, it is, you can switch them around. So what I did, oh, except the pocket would be at your belly button. But if you wanted to, so that it was longer in the middle and shorter on the sides, as opposed to the other way around, and if you don't mind having a pocket at your belly button and another pocket probably somewhere here at your bum, you can spin these around. Um, okay, that's that. I'm gonna switch out of this guy. What we have also been doing is we've been using our scraps, our remnants, to create bunting. But I don't think I can take both of the cameras with me. So we just took some twine and then we strung it in our front window. And then we used um, the, the pieces of remnant, like in strips, and we just tied them so that they dangled. And um, that's, we've got some, some bunting that is for the Grey Cup weekend in Grey Cup colors. So this piece here is also by Terrera. It is their, their short A-line dress. I think I only have two of these left in medium. And I thought, now this one also is that terry fabric. So even though it's bamboo, it's slightly warmer because it's got those little terry loops on the inside. It's the same fabric as the Viva pocket pants. And this would make a great layer as well. And I love that it's eight line. So this is a medium. I would say the medium fits me comfortably. I could go a size larger because I do like sizes largest, but I feel like if I did, it was it would be too big. Um, but yeah, so this is the bamboo leggings from Terrera, the Terrera A-line dress, which also does have pockets. And then I paired it, because I'm not super adventurous, with this. And I thought that made a really cute look. Um, definitely amps up your basic black. And I think because it's got that A-line look, I would probably want to go diagonally like that and then find a fun necklace to go over top. Something long. I don't know, I'd have to find something. Um, anything available in long sleeve? I do not have anything available in long sleeve. And I've looked, a number of you have um, sent me like sent me links of things that you found elsewhere and I've looked at the pieces and I, I like that together. And I've looked at the pieces and I thought, okay, would that work? And I just haven't been in love with the cuts. Um, I've either thought that they weren't versatile enough or that they were too tight around the midriff. Um, I don't know. I just, nothing struck me. Oh, thank you so much. Um, nothing really struck me as fabulous. They all struck me as pretty good. And I try to stick with fabulous, but I do agree that I'm missing something in the longer sleeve. Um, what I would recommend in the meantime is that you use those little sleeves to go underneath to create longer sleeves. That's why we call them wardrobe extenders, so that you can take what you already have and you can extend it into another season without having to buy something else. The other piece that I put with this is this one here. And this is a, another really beautiful poncho. The colors in this are kind of like a cream, a black, an ultramarine blue. And I always love that little pop of red there. And I should tell you that we have earrings to match. And I just put on our website, 
we are getting a necklace, um, a tassel necklace that matches these earrings and it's already online and we should have it by next week. So if you are an ultramarine fan, we now have ultramarine blue uh, earrings with the matching necklace. And I think those would really tie it together. This is two pairs, by the way, attached to each other there. So there, would look like that with it. But again, another really great color, easy to work into your wardrobe. You don't have to think too hard. Louisa, hi. Mira was going around the store today with a list from your wish list um, to add, to figure out what was soft and not soft. Um, and just so you know, we are happy to do that for anyone. If you guys have any questions, I love this one. In real life, it is spectacular. And the silk is beautiful. It really is. It really is. It's so soft. It's weightless. It has, um, it's like butter. It just disappears underneath your hand. Uh, but yeah, beautiful piece. And I feel like the lines are very flattering too. Um, what was I talking about? It's gone. There. So the next one is also a free any dress. And I'm halfway done, which is nice. Um, so this one here is a Franny dress in a size small. So again, this one is going to be a little small on me. This is that color that's called Isola. And uh, don't forget, if you want to place your order for Bryn Walker, for if you want February delivery, you've got to order by Monday. Okay. So this is the world's best blue. It's gorgeous. Um, and what we thought we, what I thought I would pair it with is this again with the black and white in it. Um, so the colors are ever so slightly off, but I feel like they work together. This is a little bit more blue and this is a little bit more teal. Um, but I thought that this would be a really fun piece to pair it with. Again, the silk is incredibly soft. And you could even do something more like that. I kind of feel like, I mean, there are days where it's so cold out that I want to wear warm things. But for the most part, everything is so heated and my body has been heating up by itself. Um, that I feel like kind of like having, having the opportunity to take off a layer. So there is the free any dress with black tights and a little scarf, which is actually a poncho. Um, yeah, I don't know. All those rules about what you can and can't wear in each season. I feel like maybe those were made before air conditioning and heating. Um, because we do rely on climate control here in Canada a lot. Um, so really there's nothing stopping you from wearing a fabric that works for you, that you're happy with. Because you're going to be indoors most of the time. Okay, so the next one Mira chose. And uh, what she said was, wouldn't this look great together? So I'm going to try it and we're going to see if it really does look great together. What she suggested was that I pair this fabulous jumpsuit, which is blacks and it's a very pale taupe. And I don't know if I can show it to you, but it's got a bit of a tone on tone pattern. Um, it's woven right into the silk. So let me see if I can show it to you. I don't know if you're going to see it. It looks like little dots. So if you can see them, there's there, you could kind of see it there. So there's little dots where the fabric actually has its own pattern woven in. And then on top of that, it's printed. I need to not watch these lives. There are at least three ponchos I'm going to add to my wish list. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I was talking about wish lists. So um, yeah, if there's something on your wish, wish list and you just want to know more about it, we're able to see your wish lists. So um, if you just say, oh, I put this thing in my wish list and I just wanted to know out of these three pieces, which one is the softest or out of three, these three pieces or four pieces, which one would go better with jeans? Uh, and it's really easy for us to just go and find them because they're right here out on the sales floor. And uh, we can give you a hand with that. So Mira was saying that this would look really cute. You'll never guess what color poncho she picked. Now, if it were me, I would have gone with a black uh, or a white. I'd be like, oh, it's black and white, so we need to wear black and white. And that is not at all what she picked. Um, what she picked, it's a lot of fun out there right now. So there's a lot of beer drinking happening. 
and um, people are having fun. So there's, I didn't tie that side very well, but there's the jumpsuit and Mira picked this color, which you guys can't see yet, to go with it. Blue. Who would have thought, right? I did, I did not think. But she chose this one. This is a fabulous piece. It actually reminds me of some of the silk I've seen in some of the collections by Grisas. I don't know if any of you are familiar with them. So it's um, this part of the silk here is just a Georgette silk. But when you get to this part here, it has silver thread woven through it. Hopefully you can see the shimmer on that. So it's not all like that. It's, there is a triangle right in here that has the shimmer. And then the rest of it, let's see if I can find it. Hmm. So the shimmer goes from this spot here to that spot there, all the way down. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So this panel, here in the center, including the neck hole, has a little bit of shimmer in the blue. Um, and then the rest of it is just a plain blue silk. Very, very soft. There is a tiny, tiny bit of um, an itch. Like you can feel the silver thread. It's delicate and it's not much, but you can feel it compared to the rest of the silk, which you can't feel at all. It has just a tiny, tiny little bit of a texture factor. Um, what does it feel like? It feels like, feels a little bit like a lovely exfoliation, if that helps, but not in a bad way, more like in a nice way. So she thought it would be really pretty to pair this blue with this black, and you know what? She's kind of right. Even though I would not have done this, I would have gone a much safer route. I feel like what I would have paired this with is something more like this. Okay, so I don't think that this is gonna work either because I think it's gonna be too much pattern on pattern. Um, I don't love it. I don't feel like it's doing much for itself, but she's got the right idea, I think, to pair it with something that really sets it off, something that's completely different. What if I paired it with this? Nope, not this. This one's for later, this one. Okay, so I like that way better. I feel like the blue was nice, but it didn't have the depth of tone to work with the black. This one does have a little bit of this kind of, it's a, like a cardboard brown color, uh, but I think the pinky part of it works beautifully with the black and white, and that is a stunning outfit there. Even with like the, the um, crisscrossy print here, a smaller pattern too. Yeah, I feel like this, it, they're both the same size pattern. They both have tiny little squares. I feel like it works really well together. But again, I'm not 100% sure about the stripey part with it, but definitely the solid. I feel like that works really well. So that piece is going to show up again in a second. I kind of love how I could do this, though. I couldn't do that before. Um, okay, so this guy's coming off. The pink is great. Yeah, I thought the pink was really nice with it too. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty blue though. Like I feel like if you're somebody who wants something that you can just throw on with a pair of jeans, that blue poncho is kind of a no-brainer. It, it has the versatility of a jean jacket, I feel. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy back. I will show you the one that I actually paired with that pink poncho. Um, I thought it would be really sweet. Make sure I haven't missed anything. So this is a baby doll dress from our Wabi Sabi collection here. And I thought this would be very sweet with that poncho. Because uh, see how it's got the little squares down here and then that poncho has the squares. Mind you, again, this does not have any yellow in it. And that one does have those warm tones, but let's see how it works. Yeah, 
I would do it like this. And I would probably tie these together to create a bit more of a sleeve. here as well so that it almost becomes like a top over top of the dress there I think that's really sweet as a paired set and then again you would just put something really fun here on the neck what do we have maybe something like this Okay, how freaking adorable is this? I don't know about that. I mean, I don't hate it. Don't know if I love it. I think the necklace kind of makes it tie in a little bit. I lost my arm there, hold on. Okay. Take that, that, spin it around. I kind of don't hate that either. I feel like I might just need to add a bit of mustard in here or gold. I wish I had something that was gold and blue. Hmm. No, it needs to have a brighter blue. So it's definitely something I would have to think about. Uh, but I love this with this. I think it's a really fun look. I know somebody asked me if you could turn our ponchos into shrugs, and the answer is yes, as long as you put it so that the neck part, like the, the neck hole, which normally would end up in the center there, you just have to pull that up so that's at your neckline, and then you can turn your poncho into a shrug. Just have to keep that together and have a bit more of a collar here. Okay, next piece. So the next piece, I paired something with bamboo again. And let's see how it looks. So this here, whoops, goes here. This goes here. Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining. Let's see if I've missed anything. No. Okay. okay, so this next one is another piece that I've paired with bamboo. And this is that um, the orange village dress. Again, I believe this one is a small medium. So the last one I tried on was a large, extra large. This is the small medium, just so you can see how the different sizing looks. And there we go. So for me personally, I don't feel super comfortable in the small medium. I liked the large, extra large better. And I'll tell you why. Um, I feel like with the small medium, you can see this right here, which is my tum. Um, it's better when I pull my pants up over it, but I don't know. I don't like it when I'm wearing things and you can see like a pull, especially in my underpinnings. I like those to be very drapey. Um, hi, Jackie. But now you know how that size fits. And what we paired it with was this. And we don't know why this is still here. It's so freaking gorgeous. Um, so Mira wanted to pair it with something that had a little bit more green in it. I really thought that it looked beautiful like this where we bring out the oranges in here and then you could use the green to kind of make some jewelry pop. And I know we have some. Mm, we have some lovely chartreuses. But maybe something like that with it to just make the green pop. I think that would be adorable. Yeah. How sweet is this outfit? Um, and you could pair it with cream if you want. You could probably, oh, you can see the colors in there. They're kind of oranges and pinks blended together. And then there's greens and there's like more of a, 
a marigold color. But I definitely think I would pair this. If you have something in chartreuse on the bottom, that would be adorable. This is a great look. Very comfortable, very trendy. You'd feel like you're in your pajamas. That's always a win. Okay, next. Have I missed anything? How does the brown poncho look against the pink franny dress? That's a very good question. And I appreciate that you asked. So this is the pink franny dress in Namisha. And let's put this over top of it. Um, my first instinct is that the franny dress is a little too bluey pink. Um, and that this is less of a, well, it's not. Actually, it works. Here, let's see it up close. There. I would think that it would look better with the Rambutan, but I would have to check. Yeah, I feel like it works really well with the Ramutan. It has the right depth of color. Um, let me know if you guys think you, I need more light because I just realized I could plug in our photo lamp right there and then you guys would get a better look at the colors. But yeah, I think the Rambutan works better with it. The pink works, but the Rambutan feels like more of a no-brainer with it. This would also look really sweet with this dress, like that. I just feel like every time I find a piece where I'm like, okay, this would match so many things and look outstanding with so many things, I feel like those are the winner pieces. And to me, this one is a winner piece. You could just do so much with it and anything that you put it with would be breathtaking. It's just got that kind of a vibe to it. It's gorgeous. Guys, if only you could see it in person, you would know just how gorgeous it is. Okay, next. This guy goes back here. This comes off. I am notoriously a rehanger upper of things because later, if I find everything not hung up, I get overwhelmed um, and then I don't know how to proceed. So that's why I'm just gonna take a second to hang things up. So this is another piece over here that I'm gonna show you that I feel like you're gonna see again and again because it kind of matches everything. So this is a poncho. It's reds, kind of like a flesh tone, um, and then oranges and blues and blacks. Um, and you would think that it's a bit much, but I feel like it just is such a fun piece. It looks great with orange. And I'm going to try it on with a bunch of other things as we move through this show to show you how it's just got so much going for it. Uh, but yes, I do really love this. Um, even though like on first look, you'd be like, oh my God, that's a bit much. But to me, I feel like it's a bit much in a showstopper kind of a way. Um, with the right jewelry and the right accessories, it would just pop. Okay, what else was I going to show you? So this is coming off. That went with that, but you know what? This would also look great with this. Remember I showed you this one already? I showed it to you with the Rambutan. But look at how great it looks with the cinnamon. I'm getting a lot of glare. I know there's a lot of glare. Is the glare affecting your ability more winter brown with Rambutan? Yeah. Um, so are you able to see the colors though? Give me a second. I'm gonna see if the, that light is like just behind me, then I'm gonna go grab it and set it up and see if that does anything to help with the colors. Um, and I do appreciate your patience with this. Um, this isn't where we usually work from, so I wasn't really sure how things were gonna go. Please, give me a moment. Sorry guys, our box lights are all downstairs. Just coming 
we had so much to make room for that maybe do this, maybe. Turn a little bit of light on the situation here, but I don't think it helps too much. Um, oh, I can see good, thank you. Thank you, Cleo. Um, there, okay, so next piece. Oh, no, okay. So the next one I'm gonna show you, okay, I'm gonna show you something else that goes with this. Because we found a bunch of pieces that we thought were really sweet together with it. So this goes here. These have been shown to you, so they go here. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Oh, guys, we are just flying through because I'm feeling like we're getting close to done. Okay, so this dress, friends, how? How? <laughs> have you not bought this dress yet? It's beautiful. It's soft. It's embroidered. It feels like butter. And the colors are exceptional. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful. Can you hear it? It's that nice. Okay, so we thought, how fun would it be to pair this with some ponchos? And I would totally wear it with leggings and these shoes or even boots in the winter. And maybe with that longer Georgia top underneath. Because don't forget, silk is moisture wicking and temperature regulating. So it's, it's not breezy. It's, um, it will keep you warm and it will keep you cool. Okay, so we thought this, with this, would be kind of fun. And maybe take this here, tuck it under here it out through there and pair it this way. So I thought that was kind of cute. Maybe tie a knot in there. And that'll stop it from falling in there as well. But that's cute, right? Who would have thought of pairing those together? But that's a really sweet and and different look. Like it's it's got a bit of a Hey, look at me. I'm, I'm, hey, look at me. I'm fearless. It's got a fearless vibe to it. And you could also put it like that, where that is a scarf down your back. But the other piece we thought would go really well with this, and this one is a little more subdued, but really works. So this poncho is basically those same kind of, like an oatmeal background with black, but it's a very pale oatmeal. And then it's got this fabulous border of red and mustard and I thought this and this and it does this and this are very cute together and again I would probably tie it so that it's a bit of a blouse over top of it like this and then again on the other side and this is a wabi-sabi piece too this poncho it's kind of hard to go wrong with it Truly, truly love this. And I think, oh yeah, I would probably put it with some of that fabulous blue. Look at that. And then maybe those blue earrings. So this, this looks great in the back. Looks like they were made to go together. You've got that fabulous layered look. Gives you a couple of different outfits. And the silk is so soft. And then, you could either pair it with that necklace that's coming in, it's already online, um, and these earrings, these ones here, which I think we also have in red. But I feel like the blue is really what you need here to tie that together. This one is a winner. Friends, if you were looking for something kind of interesting to take on your next vacation, I feel like this is it. Um, you could definitely wear this poncho into the winter, layered over top of your other things. Oh, I just saw a message, but I've lost it. Okay, sorry, there we go. Um, anyways, so pretty. Um, I love it. I would definitely wear it. I would love to wear it on vacation. It would make me feel like a million bucks. Um, so I did see your message pop up. And then when I went to go look at it, it disappeared. So I'll have to answer it after the show. But yeah, I love these together. I think they are stunning. And actually, I can kind of segue from this one. Oh, 
into the next one. So we don't have many of these skirts left and they just work so well with the silk. But I was thinking, wouldn't this be cute under this? So the nice thing about these skirts, super stretchy, and you can kind of choose how far up you want to put them. So in this case, I would probably want it just peeking out a little bit underneath the dress. So I would put it there. Like that. Or you could go longer. Maybe a smidge longer. There. And then you would definitely need mustard jewelry, which I don't really see offhand. Um, are you getting more skirts in? I'm still trying to get more skirts in. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I'm trying to get more skirts in. If I can get them, I will get them because I know that they're just a really great staple and they do work so well with the silks. But there you go. Here's this dress with this underneath. You would walk around town feeling like a million bucks in this. Like there's just, there's nothing not to love about this look. It's almost like wearing a petticoat underneath a dress. And then the reason that I tried it on now is that I wanted to show you how great it looks with a couple of the other pieces, pokes my head in again, um, that I've already shown you. So it works really well with this piece that I just tried on for you, the one with a little bit of yellow here in the border. And so you could wear this like this with it. And that's really cute. And then you would need to find the right necklace, which I know. So we have these necklaces online and we also have some in store that are not online. I feel like there's your look right there. So there's a fun little look. And then you could also wear it with, um, it's back. There's actually so many pieces that you could wear it with. Uh, this goes here. So I was thinking this one as well. So this doesn't have yellow in it. I don't actually, will it work? It kind of works as well. Just so much fun, especially for traveling. Um, love those necklaces. Yeah, these necklaces are so sweet. And um, they're just porcelain beads that have been hand glazed on a leather string. Uh, if you look them up online, they're called artisan necklaces. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're just very, very simple. They're not expensive. They're $16. They look great with the silk. But yeah, I think this is very pretty too. I would 100% wear this. Okay, and then the piece that I actually chose to go with the skirt is this one here. And the next outfit, I'm so sorry that you, <laughs> I keep going in and out of screen. Um, so the, the next outfit that I'm gonna show you, yeah, that's so pretty too. Okay, very kind of peasanty. I would probably take these two sides. So this time I'm wearing it tunic length. I would take these two sides and tie them together, create kind of like an asymmetrical top. Like that. That's so sweet. and easy. I feel like I'm wearing my pajamas. So there's another look for you. And then I think I'm going to do that segue thing again where I use the same piece and see what I can do with it. So this, just so you know, this piece here will look great. Do I do it now? I think I do it now. Hold on a second. So this piece, you were just looking at it. And this piece as well, I think this would be gorgeous with the yellow so here, but then I'm going to show you both pieces with navy blue as well. So is that inside out? Yes. Ah, where's my, there. It's so absolutely delicate and beautiful. I probably So freaking pretty. So let me show you how it would look if we paired it with me. So I think skirt comes off. Yep, the skirt comes off. I will get more of them when I can because 
they're just too cute not to have. Um, but, this back up. So what I'm gonna show you next is a navy, that bamboo dress that I was showing you, but in navy. And actually, maybe I'll get a pair of sleeves to show you, because I know you guys have been asking about what do you do in winter. And this is what I would say you do in winter. You walk over here, and you get one of these. So these are our mesh sleeve tops, and you can just wear them underneath your other stuff. So even if I were wearing if I were able to strip in front of you, I would probably put this underneath my tank top. Um, and so what it does is it just gives you arms. And they really do keep you warming up. Um, and they're very flattering. So this, I'm wearing it backwards because I just saw the tag. This is the small medium. I kind of like the small medium because I feel like it's not loose on my arms. It's very, very form fitting on the arms. Um, and then <laughs> definitely wearing it backwards. But if you wanted to put this underneath something like this, especially if you were wearing the black one, I think that that's how you extend your wardrobe into the next season. Like you would be, that looks so bad, sorry guys. Um, but you would definitely be warm enough if you did this. Like I don't think you would need to buy warmer clothes. You would just layer them together like that. And then what I was saying was that you could pair it with this piece here. And we do have, no, we don't have leggings in blue. We have the Capri leggings in blue. Yeah, you could pair it with this color here. And then you could also put it with this one here. Also lovely in blue. And then you can pull up the pinks with it. So that's how I would move into winter. I, I really do just tend to, to layer, and the more comfortable that inner layer is, the more comfortable I am. This is quite comfortable, uh, but it is not a natural fiber. So that's why I tend to go with the Georgia tank, because it feels like silk on. It's just such a smooth and thin bamboo. It keeps you warm enough, but you still feel like unbelievably comfortable, which is important to me. But there's how it looks with this dress. And I think, again, I would probably just do a little tie here, especially if I was gonna wear it with leggings, just to add a bit of dimension to turn the, the dress into a bit more of a tunic. And then it's got the pockets here. So that's really cute, kind of trendy, very artsy looking. Um, I, love, I love the bamboo too. You know, once you start wearing bamboo and silk, like I find that once you've started wearing silk, it's very hard to go to polyester because you really do know the difference in the feel. And once you start wearing bamboo, it's hard to go back to cotton. Because as lovely as cotton is, it just does not have the same hand that bamboo has. The bamboo just feels cool. Like it feels cool to the touch. Yeah. Okay, so I wonder if I grabbed any of these dresses. I didn't, so give me, give me one sec and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Here. Okay, so this is what I was talking about that if you want to layer successfully, um, if you wore this top with your bra and you don't have to wear like a whole camisole with it, but you could wear this and then put this over top of it. This is just the black bamboo dress here. <laughs> I really should have put this on the right way. Let's just pretend that that tag is not there. We're just gonna tuck it behind my neck. But I think that that's a really nice look and it will keep you warm. So that works. Um, and the other one that I was gonna show you was the Georgia top underneath a dress like this, because the Georgia top is just a brilliant piece of clothing. I'm so sorry that I have to keep going off for you guys. It's, um, it's a bit of a zoo in here because of all the stuff for the show. So this one is the Georgia top. 
And I wear mine all the time. It's so comfortable. So, okay, this has to stay, this comes off here. And then what I've been doing a lot of is just putting this on here and then just wearing my other stuff over top of it. So I'll show you the next couple of pieces while I'm wearing the Georgia top. So there's your long sleeves there. It's so soft and comfortable. Like it feels, it feels like a hug. Let me see if I've missed anything. Yeah, so the, the Georgia tanks tops feel like a hug. They're so soft and so comfortable. And then you would use that as your underpinning when you layer up so that you still feel warm, but you don't have to dress in winter stuff. I think you could wear, you could layer the sleeveless Bryn Walker linen top with a, with long sleeves and a poncho. Yeah, absolutely. Like I, I wear my linen in the winter because especially the Bryn Walker linen, it's not paper thin. It's a really high quality linen. So here we go. So there's the baby doll dress. And there it is with the long sleeves underneath, which I think is, it looks great. Um, and then Mira had the brilliant idea to pair it with this poncho. So again, you're working on creating that layered look. Look at, like, those are not the same fabrics, but how close is that? It's gorgeous together. So there's your beautifully layered look. And you're gonna be warm. You're wearing leggings. You could wear socks and like little army boots. You've got long sleeves on. Um, like you're gonna, you're gonna be as warm as you need to be, I think, especially if you're gonna be indoors. But yeah, super sweet look. Kind of feel like maybe this. There. Put your hands in your pockets. Just a beautiful combination. And then what Mira did as well is she found this second piece that's um, similar, but a little bit more vivid. Like this is very tone on tone um, and very soft. And then she found something that she thought just amped up the whole outfit. And at first I have to admit, I was skeptical. Um, but when I saw them together, I'm like, yeah, this totally works. So the one that I showed you just now is those muted softer pinks. This one is a brighter pink, but it, it has some of those tones in it. And it's got these waves of flame, um, which are kind of spectacular, not gonna lie. Um, but I think that it adds just like a real punch to this baby doll dress. That again, I would not have done. But seeing them together, I'm like, that's crazy. It would be crazy not to do this because that's unbelievable together really amps it up so much and especially if you're going to wear the black underneath because it kind of ties in that black layer with it and then I think oh I was going to tell you earlier that you could wear this with this as well so those two colors together there I wonder if that would go with the orange too yeah it goes with the orange too so, and then this is that, the uh, cinnamon dress here. This is how it looks together. There. Like that's amazing together. That, this definitely looks like haute couture shopping. It does not look like something you found off the rack. It's just, it's so statementy, And I do love it. So that was one of Mira's picks. And then, guys, we're almost done. We're down to the last one, two, three. Oh, this, okay, I'm gonna show you one of Mira's that's like totally out there, but I really felt like it worked. And I'll keep this on, just so you can see how it looks as a layered piece. So again, I kind of thought this one was a little out there, but it's also fabulous. So let's give it a try. So this here is the jumpsuit, I think. Let me make sure. Yes, this is the jumpsuit, not the dress. Yeah, in, um, I think it's called purple and you can see it's got orange and black in there as well. 
And if you wanted to wear this piece into winter, you would just have to put black on underneath it. Especially because you've got those darker colorways. I really do think if we want to start turning our wardrobes into something um, where you just have your favorite pieces that you can wear all year round, then it kind of makes sense to do away with the idea of seasonal dressing and to go more with layers so that you can wear your beautiful things all the time. So here's this jumpsuit with black and I'm still wearing my black layers underneath it. And then what she paired it with is this and it's kind of fun. How cool is that? This, to me, this feels like something Shefali would wear. I don't know if I'm bold enough. I don't know, guys. It's iffy. It's, it's kind of iffy, not gonna lie. But these are beautiful, and this is beautiful. But do they work together? That I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I wish I had something else I could pair it with, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I see it, but I don't think it's me. I think it could be somebody else, but not me. I do like this piece alone, and I love this piece alone as well. Okay, the next one is something else that pairs with orange. And is there anything else I wanted to try on with this? Probably not. So this is kind of I see a question. Can you put the black dress underneath that poncho? Yes, I can. I would love to. So I think I put the black dress here. Yeah. Honestly, Torero was one of the best things I did for this store. If you guys haven't discovered Torero yet, you're going to love it. Um, I even started getting my bed sheets from Torero because they're so good. And I loved MetaMade. I was a huge fan of MetaMade. But I feel like I like the, the hand of the Torero bamboo better. So there's the dress with the long sleeves underneath. So I'm actually wearing three layers of Torero right now. I'm wearing this one, the Georgia top, and then the seamless bra tank that has the bra built in. Yeah, I thought it was a bit busy too. I don't know. The youngins loved it. Me, not so much. But like to me, I would totally wear this. I kind of feel like I'd be crazy not to. Because um, I've got a versatile piece that I can wear summer and winter. I've got an underpinning. I can tie a little knot in it there and create some drape. I can wear it with some sort of a cardigan if I wanted to, to just amp it up. And still, like these are, they're not, not summer pieces, uh, but yeah so much you can do with layers, especially when the fabric is, is high quality and thin. Okay, so back to where I was. This here. Oh yeah, it's so pretty. Probably wear it. I would wear it the way that Ellen does, like this. It does need some silk, it does. It needed some color to it. So yeah, probably like that. Tie a little knot in here as well, add a bit more drape to it, and wear it this way. And then I would just need a great necklace. Maybe this guy. Think about this necklace, it's almost like a scarf. And there's your fun winter look. Right there. Yeah, that's really sweet. And again, not too summery. I, I don't feel like it is. Um, I kind of like a good sweatshirt too. When I'm at home, I don't mind you know wearing something that's kind of snugly. But if I'm going out, I really do prefer layers because I never know how hot it's going to get and I don't like being uncomfortable. Um, okay, what's next? All right, so, 
Okay, the next piece that I'm going to show you, I'm not going to try it on because I feel like I have gone on a bit. Um, so this is that same cinnamon color, and I thought this paired beautifully with it here. If you can see, it's got like subtle greens and almost like a, a very pale coral. Um, and then it's got the reds in it, and I feel like it just looks beautiful with this cinnamon color here, like that. Really easy, easy pairing. And this one I would say is another one of those festive, not festive colors, because if you pair it with the orange especially, it doesn't look festive, but if you paired it with red or with green, um, it would. So there's that one. Is there anything where I can leave this on? Not that, not that. Okay, so guys, we're down to one, two, three, four outfits left. So this guy's coming off. Oh, I love that so much. Yeah, I love, I, I loved that one too. That was beautiful. Okay, so this guy is almost up. So what I'm going to do, so again, I've left this top on to show you that you can layer, and this is the Georgia tank. We feel like, every, sorry, Georgia crew. I feel like everybody should own a Georgia crew, just like I think everybody should own a Mina slip dress. They're just that perfect, versatile piece. Um, and here is what I paired it with. So this was me um, kind of leaning into what Mira was doing, but kind of doing it in a way that I was more comfortable with. So even though I am gonna match pattern with pattern, I kept the colors the same, and I feel like because of that, it should work. You guys can be the judge. Uh, but let me just untie these. 9.45, not too bad, it's been an hour and a half. Could have been so much worse. Okay, so this is, oh, this one's a dress. So here, and then tie this up here. I won't put it on completely, just so it'll be easier for me to take off later. Um, but I would probably in the winter, I would tie it behind my neck so that I won't have the shoulder things and I could layer over it. Um, maybe tie a knot in here, add a bit of dimension. That's cute. That really is cute. Okay, so I take this, do the same thing here. Maybe I do tie this up so that it's not just dangling. So there's this, but I feel like it does, it needs a layer over top and that's what I found in the silk. I found a piece of silk that I thought went really well with it. So it's this one here, which is kind of the same colors. It has that kind of oatmeal color, it has different creams and it has blacks. I don't know if it works. I kind of hoped that it would work. I'm gonna say that I don't love it. For me, this is a no. Um, it's cute, like I see that it has potential. I feel like this needs to be out more. Like if this were had a crinoline underneath it and it kind of came out like this, then you would really see how these patterns match. But when it just hangs like this and you just see these occasional little lines, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's doing it justice. So I'm probably gonna say no. Yeah, thank you, Debbie, I agree. I feel like that's a no. It's a no. It was a valiant attempt. This is adorable though, if you're looking for something just in black and neutrals, and the silk is really nice on that one. And now I'm going to try on a self pocket dress. Yeah, lots of no's, good, I'm glad. Without the poncho, but with the contract necklace. I feel like you didn't mean contract. Contrast, I bet you it was contrast necklace. So what if I try, what's a good contrast necklace? We don't have a lot right now. Yeah, I figured it out, Ellen. No, we don't really have a good contrast necklace at the moment. I think the closest thing I have to a contrast necklace would be this. And again, I would want to tie that behind my back. 
Um, and actually that is cute. It's cute, but I don't love it. It's not something I'm gonna, red, blue, green. Yeah, we don't have any red. Uh, blue is on its way in, and actually green is also on its way in. So hopefully in a couple of days, I will have that. So yeah, it was worth a try. We're getting close to the end, so now I'm not hanging things up because I know that I'll be sorted out by the end. Um, so I only have, oh, I have three outfits left. I'm not gonna show them to you tried on. This is another one that Mira thought would be adorable. This one is a jumpsuit. It's the red tie-dye. She thought it would be spectacular with this. And I actually don't hate that. I feel like, again, it's a lot of pattern. Um, it's kind of out there, but I don't think it's out there in a bad way. I think it's out there in a I'm fearless kind of a way. And there's nothing wrong with being fearless. But this is kind of a no-brainer. I feel like I showed this to you guys last week, too. It's such a beautiful piece. I don't know why it hasn't found its home yet. Um, and this is on sale, $39 if you're looking for something to wear. Okay, back into these. I'm going to take this off. And so I just have two outfits left to show you. This one is a self-pocket oh, yes, self dress from our... I like that poncho. Yeah, the poncho is stunning. Uh, what have I missed? There, okay, so this is a self pocket dress from our regular price collection. It's a purple leaning towards magenta. It has a little bit of orange on it, which is kind of fun. And I think that you could wear actually. No, that's a little too dark. Um, what I put it with was this one. Mira said she liked it. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of do like it. It's fun. It's got the same depth of tone. Um, it's adding a whole bunch of different colors, but I feel like the colors work together. It's you. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, so yeah, I kind of do like this together, right? With this kind of a dusty rose and then with the purple and the blues. Like these colors do work together here. You can see that. Definitely, I can imagine seeing those together on one sorry. But yeah, so that is um, a self pocket dress paired with a poncho. I'll probably tie this up as well. And then the last outfit I was going to show you. Maybe leave this one untied. Um, the last one that I was going to show you was a caftan with a poncho. Yeah, yes. Now it's a yes. I would tie this side, I would leave this side down, and I would wear a shorter side to the front, and it almost works like a bit of a skirt and a top. Um, I really like this layered look a lot. I wonder if I went short side. Oh no, this isn't a, this isn't a vest. There is no short side. If I went this way, that works, but I feel like you really do need this color in here to just kind of add some pattern because everything else is so neutral. This would be great with jeans though. If you're looking for just a poncho to wear with your jeans, this one is stunning. It's got enough color in it, but it's neutral enough as well that it's not gonna detract from what you're wearing. There, underneath it. Oh, hi Gord, nice to see you. Okay, so last one guys, this is it. So what I put together for the last look was um, a carding, sorry, no, um, a midi length, a midi length caftan here with the poncho. So there's the caftan. It is a crepe silk, so you don't really need to wear anything underneath it. It's kind of a mix of chartreuse and a deep green. And I think this would be great with those chartreuse earrings I was telling you guys about here. So I'm putting it on backwards like that. Here's the shirt. Oh, guys, I feel so comfortable in this. <laughs> if someone said you have to go out and live your day wearing this right now, I'd be like, I'm on it. This is way too easy. So there's the chartreuse earrings that are just stunning with this. You can see the little pattern, how nicely it goes together. We are getting a chartreuse necklace as well. I think it's already on the website. 
It's this one, but in chartreuse, and I think it's called green. And I'll tag it after the fly. This is chartreuse and blues and pinks. And I thought, yeah, that totally works together. So I thought I would show you guys this. And again, I would tie these two little edges together here. And I would probably, no, I would wear it just like this. I really love this. It feels like a dream on. It adds a nice little hit of color at the top. Um, and I think, I think I would just wear it like this. I think I would pick up the chartreuse. I don't even think I would pick up the blues. So that's it. I'm done, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, can't get to a layer where I see both of you. Um, thank you so much for joining me again tonight. This was a lot of fun. I love the chartreuse too. I really do. Uh, there is a great chartreuse in the, can I reach it to show you? I'm going to show it to you. So next spring, spring 2024, the Bryn Walker collection has a fabulous chartreuse. I've ordered it for myself. Let me show it to you. So if you haven't placed your Bryn Walker order yet, Oh, there we go. Oh, guys, they moved us to the back. Everything has changed because we have the gray cup, unless they moved it to here. Yes, they did. Okay. So this is the chartreuse that they have. So you guys will be able to see this online. Um, oh, thank you so much, Marilyn. Um, so don't go with Soka. Soka looks really nice, but it is very much Kermit the Frog green. Don't be fooled. It's a lovely color, but it's not chartreuse. Um, and this one, Kos, is um, almost like a, a very white mint. But this one here, called Vareo, is the most fabulous chartreuse. So if you're looking for a chartreuse linen, I would highly recommend this one, Vareo. It's beautiful. Um, okay, everybody, I'm done. Thank you so much for spending your Friday night with me. Thank you for wishing me a happy anniversary. I cannot believe it's been five years. And I didn't even realize how much we'd grown until I had a look at that store across the street. I was pulling up pictures and I'm like, oh my gosh, that store was so tiny. And at the time when I opened it, I'm like, look at me opening this huge store. And now I'm like, that was just like a hallway with clothes down the side. Um, and this space really feels more like it's, it's got the space for all of the silks. So I just love it here. Um, I think we're two years into our lease here and we've got five years with the option to renew for another five. So you're, I'm going to be here a long time. Uh, but I do love this space and I can't believe how we just got picked up by other boutiques and the boutique owners who are so lovely. This brand seems to find the hearts of the best people out there and bring them all together. Um, and even, even the boutique owners who carry us, they are lovely, lovely people. Those are the people who get drawn to this brand. And I am fortunate enough that I kind of get to be in the center of it and I get to see all these magical things happening. I'm working with a marketing person right now through Innovation Guelph and she's lovely and very focused. And she's like, you need to get your brand out to the average person. I live close by to Hamilton. I didn't know you existed. If I didn't know you existed, that means your marketing's not great. And I just thought, and I, I, I kind of said to her, I'm like, I kind of like in a way how we've grown organically because it's almost like if this brand speaks to you, it finds you and then you find us and then you get to be part of this community. Um, it, I don't see it as a brand for the masses. I see it as people who have that heart and that spark and that artistic sense and that um, developing sense of who they are in a world where we've been told what to be for so long, that this is the brand that allows you to express that, that you find yourself in these clothes. Uh, very much like what Sandy said in her newsletter, which is tagged in the stories today. Um, it's about so much more than selling clothes to people. It's, it's about letting women find themselves and feel good about themselves and feel special and feel unique and feel empowered. You know, you're not a victim of your closet. You're not a victim of your waist size. You are empowered to just 
find something that you love and throw it on and be comfortable. And you are empowered to be comfortable. You know, like you, you don't have to be uncomfortable so somebody else approves of you. You get to be your absolute most fabulous self in comfort, knowing that you have power over those clothes and they don't have power over you. Um, to me, that's my client. That's my customer. It's not everybody who needs a poncho. It's people who have a heart. So if there's a way that Google and Facebook can find those people and bring them to me, then that's what I want to keep doing. I am not looking to sell this brand at Winners. Um, not, not yet. I, I really need it to have more of a message than that. Um, anyways, okay, that was my little ramble for the night. I am definitely going to let you go. It is 10 p.m. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, everybody. Hopefully you can come down and see us. Um, the streets close tomorrow as well. It's going to be so much fun. Have a good night. Bye, everyone.